In this video, we are going to take a look at Haley Van Lith as all signs point that she is going to Mississippi State. We asked the question, why Mississippi State and has she gotten it right? All right, before we start, if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. We are driving for 10K, so please subscribe, especially if you are a new viewer and like women's college basketball, this is probably the channel for you. All right, let's get into this. So the news is broken that Haley Van Lith is visiting Starkville, and the rumors are that it seems very, very likely that she and her three-on-three -three Team USA teammate Lalani Kapnis will transfer to Mississippi State. So what is driving this? Well, in short, it is common sense. In my last video, I outlined how Haley and her dad are very strategic in how it comes to her career, and they were unlikely to make a second mistake in the next transfer that she made. As as well-intentioned as the transfer was to LSU, it's pretty clear that it did not work out, as Haley had planned to win a championship and then ride on into the WNBA draft, showing everybody how she could play point guard. But instead, the exact opposite happened. LSU got knocked out in the Elite Eight, and you can say, boy, they had a tough draw and it was unlucky. But I think in truth, if you gave the team truth serum and Kim Mulkey truth serum, they all expected to get to the Final Four and would agree that they underachieved this season. But in addition to that, instead of Haley Van Lith having a platform to show how she could play point guard on the next level, it turned into a disaster show showing everybody how she was not ready to take over the point guard position. And to her credit, I never heard her complain once in a press conference saying it was unfair. My motto for this year has been like, take one, take one step every day, take one step every day. And I'll, sometimes I have bad games, but the next morning I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna take another step and I'm gonna come to practice and hopefully have a great practice. So um, it's hard, but you know, that's why I came here. I, I wanted to be pushed. I wanted to be challenged. So, you know, I'm getting what I asked for. Can't complain. LSU had their end of team banquet where they celebrate the seniors. Funny enough, Haley Van Lith and Angel Reese were not there due to other commitments. Presumably, Angel with the WNBA and Haley getting ready to go to Starkville if she was not there already. Mulkey gave comments that were supportive of Haley going in the transfer portal saying, her aspirations were to get drafted this year, and she realized I need another year to go back to a place where I can relax and get back to my normal position. And what do you do? You hug her and you wish her well. Mulkey went on to say she wanted to improve her strengths by coming to LSU with the goal of expanding her game by learning a position that I played my entire life. And then Mulkey went on to say because she knows that at the next level, that's her only chance to be able to tell them somewhat, I can handle the ball if you need me to. So I think Mulkey is trying to paint this as a bit of a success that she came to LSU and demonstrated she could handle the ball a little bit. And now she's going to go back to a quiet place like Mississippi State and do what she does well, which is score the basketball. And it's kind of like, yeah, okay, you're painting the best picture of this as possible, which you should be because... Haley Van Lith was a good soldier. She did what she was supposed to do as she did buy in and sacrifice her game, averaging seven less shots than she did at Louisville, but this also hurt her game as with less shots, she shot a career low of 38%. And Mulkey acknowledged this saying she had to embrace change in her mindset of not shooting 20 to 30 times a game, but finding who's open and getting them the ball. And sometimes it was hard she would be pressured and she would be pounding the heck out of the ball. But then Mulkey tries to sandwich that criticism with a nice little praise at the end saying, Haley Van Lith is one of the hardest working players that I've ever coached. And I think that sort of sums it all up and why Haley Van Lith is leaving. As I imagine in practice, she was getting crushed on a daily basis by Mulkey, as well in the press and everybody else from the fans, as it seemed like she was the problem. But now by transferring to Mississippi State, which I assume she will do, she gets to go low profile to a school 
it's not going to have near the attention of the rock star team LSU was and she will be able to develop her game under Sam Purcell who she had as an assistant at Louisville so she is familiar with him his coaching style and I believe they feel very confident that he will know how to utilize and get the most out of her skill set as I mentioned earlier it appears this is a two-for-one special as Lalani Kapnis is also visiting Starkville and it appears that they are both going to transfer there as well the other giveaway that something's happening is Jasmine Brown Hager the number 54 recruit from who's a freshman she's transferring out as well as Miracle Shepard, who was the number 86 recruit. They're both guards. They are not returning for their sophomore year and have entered the transfer portal. So they must have the word on the street that more guards are coming in to Mississippi State. Now, was this a good move for Haley Van Lith? It was a great move. I think this is a fantastic move. As one, she's able to get back to a coach that she's comfortable with. As she was coached by Purcell at Louisville, he's a good coach. He took Mississippi State back to the tournament in his first year there in 22-23. They regressed a bit last year, but they did have the upset win over LSU, ironically, and that was one of the games where Haley did not play very well. Going for four points on one for six shooting with three turnovers. I believe at Mississippi State, the plan will be that Haley will share the ball with Lilani Kupnick, much like LSU did towards the end of the season with her and Poa. I thought last year the best LSU looked was during the SEC tournament prior to Poa's injury, as they were holding Williams out with her foot injury, and it just allowed them to share the duties of bringing the ball up. And for all the money, it just looked like they found their groove, but then Poa got injured, and to me it seemed like the classic two-quarterback situation, which Mulkey did not help. You could see her grow frustrated with both of them on the sideline. So one would make a mistake, Mulkey would yank them, stand up, and put the other one in. It reminded me of Steve Spurrier throwing the visor when his quarterback would throw an interception and running the next quarterback on. And Spurrier was tough on quarterbacks because he played quarterback himself, much like if you're coaching your kid, you're usually much harder on your kid than the rest of the team. And, and Mulkey alludes to that in a quote. I think it's I think it's showing when she says she had the goal of expanding her game by learning a position that I played my entire life. So I think it's pretty clear that Mulkey is pretty damn tough on point guards. If you look at the transfer portal in LSU, so Velez is transferred out, Janae Kent is transferred out. We know Katiri Poole did as well and Haley Van Lys. So those are all four guards that are getting the heck out of there. I'm sure they'll reload through the portal. The other interesting aspect of this, which I like, is that we'll be able to see Mississippi State and LSU play next year, which should be fun. I am curious to see what sort of reception Haley Van Lith will get when she goes back to the PMAC. I'm sure Mulkey will word up the fans prior to the game saying, we need to give Haley appreciation for the time she put in here. She did what she was supposed to do. She promised me a year. She gave me a year. And I think that's fair, actually. I, again, I I said in the previous video, I think people like to take out Haley Van Lith as she rubs people the wrong way with her self-confidence. And she used to try to always control it and keep it under control because the coach was like, you need to back off on, you know, being out there and getting in players' faces and being cocky. And then once she started training with Kobe, he's like, no, embrace that. Be who you are. You think you're the best. Go out there and try to be the best and and be who you are. Don't be fake. And I'm, I'm the same way. I agree with that. Hey, Be who you are. I think she tries hard. She took a chance going to LSU. It didn't work out. I think this is a great move. And expect Mississippi State to be a really fun watch next season. All right, now over to you. Good move or not, Haley Van Lith going to Mississippi State. Your comments and your poison. Always welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. Good night.